Welcome to today's video and yeah, I am back in Manila or actually I am in BGC which is an area right next to Manila and yeah, today's video is going to be a personal video. I'm going to talk about something personal you probably saw it already in the title of the video and yeah, while I'm talking about that I will show you around BGC High Street which is uh, an area here in BGC I would call it a little bit of a walking street a very clean, nice and modern part of uh, Metro Manila. The whole area of BGC looks quite modern and posh. I showed you this area in another video before actually. But yeah, this is the high street and yeah, it's a little walking street with some restaurants, bars, shops, some malls here and there. And I heard that in the evenings there's also like live music here, especially on the on the weekends or only on the weekends, I'm not really sure. Ah, this is a good spot here. The sun is shining. It's not too hot today. You have the, the trees around here. It looks very beautiful. I like this area a lot. And yeah, why am I thinking about moving to the Philippines? Let me explain. First of all, uh, if you followed my channel, you probably already know that I've been constantly traveling for the past three years. That means for the past three years, I always been on the road. I only lived in hotels or some Airbnbs here and there, so I never really had a had a home, you know. It's always constantly traveling, which I love. I love this life. I love uh, traveling in Southeast Asia. I love making these YouTube videos, so absolutely not complaining about that lifestyle. But sometimes I miss having a, a fixed home, you know, like a place where I can always go to. And I also miss having a routine like a daily routine. I know that maybe sounds like something boring for many of you, but my life was like without a routine for the past three years. So I actually sometimes miss having one, like going to the gym every day, eating healthy, like being able to stay in one area, maybe make local friends in an area. If you're always changing your places like every two, every three days, you can't really make local connections or making friends in one place so yeah sometimes i miss being located in one place and uh, being able to do all of this making local friends going out with friends going to the gym i really miss going to the gym and having a sport routine eating healthy that is sometimes not so easy when you're on the road so yeah the past days the past weeks i was thinking about maybe it's time for me to uh, not really settle down i will be continue to travel over the past years you know it's the goal of this channel to visit every country in southeast asia and we're definitely going to do that but i thought maybe it would be good for me for my mental health for my uh, personal life to settle down for maybe like one or two months in just one place you know ah, maybe we can get a drink here before we uh, continue talking about this topic ah. hello can i buy a drink here register i need to register what is this place? One peso. One peso? Yeah. But uh, I need to register the Gcash app. Yeah. I cannot I cannot buy a drink. I, uh, you can. I yeah, can? Because they look so refreshing. Yes, sir. I just registered. Our uh, is there, sir, do you have a Gcash already, sir? No, I don't have Gcash. No. Do I need that to buy a drink? Yes, uh, sir. Ah, I don't want to register for Gcash. I just want a drink. I don't want to register for an app just to get a drink. I just wanted to have a refreshing drink, you know. <laughs> but I'm sure we can find it somewhere else. Oh, look at the look at the sun here with the high skyscrapers in the background. That is awesome, right? Yeah, I really love this uh, BGC area. And yeah, before I uh, continue to talk about why I'm thinking about settling down here, let me pick you up. If you are a new subscriber of the channel, then maybe you're not familiar with my story of the past three years, what uh, I've done, where I've been, and why I'm living this full-time traveling life. So uh, let me pick you up a little bit. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, friendly Filipinos, always nice. Uh, can I cross the road here? I think the secret is just go. Don't wait for the right moment, just go, and the cars will wait for you. I think that's the secret. <laughs> 
Okay, so if you are not familiar with my story, how I ended up traveling around Southeast Asia, it all started in August 2019, so a little bit over three years ago, when I moved to Bangkok, Thailand for an exchange semester. It was my final semester of my university, of my master degree. I studied entrepreneurship and business management. And here the idea was to study half a year in Bangkok, finish my university, and then moving back to Germany. But well, three years later, and I am still in Southeast Asia. And yeah, during that time, I also started my YouTube channel. Actually, if you scroll back to my very first video, which is still on my channel, um, it was a video of me arriving in Bangkok for this exchange semester. By the way, if you want to watch my very old videos, my first 10 videos were in German and then I switched to English. Um, but yeah, I uh, did some videos during that semester. It wasn't meant to become a business and I didn't really took it serious back then. I just started making these videos for fun in order to have memories from the exchange semester. But yeah, during this exchange semester, so from September from August 2019 to basically like January 2020 uh, I traveled around Thailand, I traveled around like I was in Cambodia for example and I really started to fall in love with Southeast Asia with traveling and I also fall in love or fell in love with uh, making YouTube videos so then when the university was over um, I really didn't want it to uh, go back to Germany and start a real job, so, you know. So I thought to myself, oh, maybe I can take YouTube serious, start putting a lot of effort into my YouTube videos, start to grow the channel so that I can actually earn some money with these videos. But I knew, oh, this is probably take a while and it's not that easy. So I started to uh, work online as well. Luckily, I would say um, that was also the time when COVID started, early 2020. So there was a lot of demand for online jobs or many uh, companies started to uh, be more digital and uh, hiring workers online. So actually that was the, the right time, I would say, to start working online. So it was quite easy for me during that time to find an online job. So I started to work online. I started to make more and more YouTube videos, take it seriously. And that was also the time when my YouTube channel really started to grow. It was like in April and May 2020 when I was in Malaysia back then. And I couldn't really travel anymore because of COVID. So I was in Malaysia for quite some time and my channel, my channel started to grow. And yeah, it became bigger and bigger and bigger until I was at a point, I would say that was in like early 2021, where I was at a point where just YouTube alone was covering all my costs. So I decided to uh, cancel all my online jobs so that I can focus 100% on YouTube. And yeah, that's how I became a full-time YouTuber, a full-time traveler. So the past yeah, two years, I was in Malaysia. Then I was one year in Thailand because uh, yeah, COVID was still there in 2021. So I couldn't really travel that much. So I stayed a whole year in Thailand. After that, I went to Sri Lanka. Then I went home to Germany earlier this year for three weeks. By the way, if you're interested to see my hometown in Germany, my mom, my sister, you can uh, find my uh, German videos on the channel. I think there were three videos from my home in Germany. And then I went back to Malaysia to visit East Malaysia, where I haven't been on my first visit in Malaysia. And then I did a short uh, stopover in Bangkok, Thailand. And then I came to the Philippines here. Now I'm here. So that's basically uh, my YouTube story of the past three years uh, summarized quickly. So yeah, constantly being on the road for the past three years. And that's uh, what brings me to the topic of today's video. As I explained earlier, I sometimes miss having a, having a home base basically. And that was what I was thinking about the past days especially. And then it came to my mind like, okay, which cities could i imagine to uh, stay for like let's say one to two months i think that's the amount of time that uh, would be healthy for me stay at one place for like yeah four to eight weeks like getting back a gym routine eating healthy so that i can mentally feel very healthy again and then i, I think i will also gain like more excitement for for upcoming trips you know so which places could i imagine to settle down first of all definitely bangkok uh, because yeah, Bangkok is my favorite city in Southeast Asia so far. I uh, yeah, I lived in Bangkok for half a year during my exchange semester. Fell in love with that city, so Bangkok would be an option. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia would be an option. I also really like uh, Kuala Lumpur. I like Malaysia. 
But the thing is, um, I don't really want to go to Kuala Lumpur because yeah, I spent so much time there. Um, earlier this year, I stayed there already for quite some time. And so it feels like a little bit like, oh, I know everything about that. It wouldn't be like really an exciting place. Um, then Bangkok, which I could imagine. But the thing is, um, um, I don't really want to go back to Bangkok for two months because I want to continue making videos during that time. It's not going to be like a two month break from YouTube. And YouTube is my main source of income. And the thing is, uh, in Thailand, my videos are not performing as well as in other countries. So I could go to Thailand, I could make videos there, but I don't get as many views as, for example, in the Philippines or as I did in Malaysia. So the growth of the channel would slow down when I would stay in Bangkok for two months and the views would go down. And that would also mean that my earnings would go down, which yeah would be okay for two months. I mean, I could live with that. I don't depend on my monthly paycheck from YouTube, but uh, I'm uh, ambitious. I want my channel to grow. I want to get good views. I want to make good videos that are uh, appealing to a, to a broad audience so that my channel can grow. So I don't think that Bangkok would be the right place for my channel, at least not not in this time, not not now. And yeah, in the past weeks, my channel has been going really well here in the Philippines. Uh, the views are really good. The channel is growing as fast as uh, never before. So it seems like there's really an interest in, in uh, videos from the Philippines, like the audience likes to watch uh, videos from the Philippines. Uh, by the way, welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, oh, don't want to ruin the photo here. <laughs> yeah, if you're new to the channel, a huge welcome to you. Feel free to join the journey, not only around the Philippines, also around uh, Southeast Asia in the upcoming years. But yeah, that made me think like maybe settling down for one, two months in the Philippines could be something good. So I could stay here, still making videos that, I mean, you never know if the views will continue to be good in the future. But uh, I think there's the potential that I can get good views, the channel can grow while I'm based in one place, you know. Actually, check this out. What is going on here? Seems like uh, there's an event starting soon. Like, uh, oh, hello. I'm wondering what is what is happening here. Hennessy and NBA. The young lady just explained to me there's an event, a collaboration between Hennessy and the NBA. Sounds like a very interesting uh, collaboration. Um, where was I? Um, I forgot which, uh, which uh, point I just talked about. Um, yeah, moving to the Philippines. Um, I can imagine to move here for one to two months because the views are good here. I think I can still grow my channel while being uh, placed in, or uh, how do you say that? Uh, while being in one place, you know. And yeah, I think the Philippines would be a great place to do that because I really, really like this country so far. I'm here for about six weeks now. And yeah, the hospitality here is awesome. The people are super friendly, open towards foreigners. Everyone speaks English, which makes my life as a foreigner a lot easier. So I'm really starting to fall in love with this country and I would be curious to yeah, learn more about this country, about the culture, about the people, about the food, maybe learn a little bit of the language as well. So staying here for two months as a, as a home base would actually be quite interesting for me, I think. But yeah, I haven't decided yet. And also this is not going to happen this year until the end of this year. So that's like what's now like mid October. So we have like two and a half more months. Uh, I will continue to travel. And um, by the way, I just extended my visa here in the Philippines uh, yesterday. So I can stay at least until the end of November. And I already asked the immigration officer, can I extend again after that? And she said, yeah, no problem. Just come back and extend again. So I can stay here um, until the end of the year or even longer if I want to. Um, because many of you told me stay here for Christmas. Christmas is a great time in the Philippines. So I'm actually thinking about that. So I will continue to uh, travel around until the end of this year. And oh, this is also nice here. Check it out. Oh, I like that. The BGC area is really a nice area. And I would, uh, if I decide to, uh, to stay in the Philippines for, for a little bit longer of a time, um, I think I would, uh, 
move to this area, the BTC area. But yeah, so I will continue to travel until the end of the year. And then actually in January, I will move back to Thailand for one month. Because my family is visiting me in January in Thailand, I'm very, very excited about that. So my mom, my auntie and my uncle are coming to Thailand in January. And then we will travel around Thailand for like two and a half weeks. Very excited for that. But yeah, then after that, so let's say February, March next year. Yeah, I'm really thinking about moving to one place, staying for two months in one place, get a daily routine settling down a little bit in one place and then after that continue the journey all around Southeast Asia and yeah if I'm going to do that in the Philippines I would really like to live in this area the BGC area is a really great area I'm not gonna lie I mean you you see how it looks around here it looks like a very modern clean decent part of uh, the Manila metropolitan area so I really like it here and yeah live update video today hope you appreciate videos like this as well and if you're curious to see the full video that I did about this area before a few weeks ago where some kind Filipinos uh, actually showed me how to get here brought me all the way here check out the video right here stay healthy stay positive and then see you on the next episode ciao